At Blue Wave, we've also uh, found that companies often express a real concern about the time and resource commitment to properly produce their social media yeah. and inbound marketing efforts. So, um, can you tell me what you what you could say about that? Because that yeah, that's, that's the big, big question: yeah. is who has time? Everyone's has time working crazy it. hours. There's a whole new area to um, to look at. And what I ask first is, well, let's just evaluate how you're spending your time today. Yep. You know, most people totally get, yeah, I love what you're saying, Mark. More and more people are going online to find us and we're not there and we need to get there. Yep. But they're spending 99% of their time and 99% of their budget on these old interruption-based methods. So let's first take a look at where you're spending that time and that money and see how it's working for you. And then second, let's devise a, a decent strategy on how to best put together the human capital that you have in place to be effective. These things take like five hours a week, okay? Yep. This shouldn't be someone's full-time job. Sure. You know, an hour a day, would, there's plenty of time to, to create an, a successful inbound marketing strategy. The specifics I like to give is to be successful in inbound marketing, yep. to be successful in blogging and social media, you need kind of three different skill sets. One is you need thought leadership, all right? You need to have something interesting to say mm -hmm. about your industry and about yep. your company. A lot of times that's in the heads of like, the CEO or the, the executive team. Two, you need to be like a journalist and have good writing skills, okay? Mm -hmm. Sometimes someone could be a great thought leader, but unless you could put it down on paper or get out there in a digital world and say it in an interesting way, you're not really mm -hmm. gonna be that successful. And then three, you need time, okay? Sure. So you need bandwidth. And if you have someone at your company who's an amazing thought leader with a little bit of bandwidth and they're a great writer, wow, you've got a gem. Yep. Sometimes that doesn't happen. A lot of times what happens in companies is they have thought leaders who don't have any time and are they can write, but not in a really you know interesting way. Sure. So what you want to do is set up those thought leaders with someone lower level, either maybe in your marketing department or an mm -hmm. admin who is like an English degree. Sit your CEO down with that person for 15 minutes every Monday morning. Have them have a cup of coffee together. Let sure. the CEO kind of talk about the trends and the thought leadership on a very particular uh, subject and have that person be taking notes and, and take that 15 minute conversation and turn it into two or three blog articles that week. Sure. That's a pretty good human resource strategy. And even interns. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, you go out and find interns. interns. Go, go to They're a great school in your area. You know, that go, go find a great school in your area that has an English or a journalist uh, program. Hire them as an intern. You know, have them come by for five or ten hours a week during the semester or have them come over for the summer and create a bunch of content for you. Um, they can do a great job and they're very cost effective.